Hey, 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 what's up guys? Welcome back to another LEGO Star Wars The Skywalker Saga video. This is level 13, Reap What You Solo Story. No trophy achievements in this video, but we do get ourselves a couple of Kyber bricks. We get one for completing the story and one for getting that silver stud status. In fact, we're even going to show you where a purple stud is to almost guarantee that you're going to get that first tier completed. Now, we're going to pick up right where we left off, which was in space. However, it's a little different this time. We are not being attacked by a space battle. That's the first time that I've actually left a galaxy to save and return to that same exact load point and not had one but it's just a stud situation anyway, so not a big deal. All right, we're going to go ahead and take off in the old Falcon, and as soon as we arrive, it's going to take us into a cutscene. It's the First Order. What do we do? There must be something. Where'd you get this ship? Don't tell me a Wrath Star's gotten loose. Oh, oh great. It's the Guavian security soldiers. Get below and stay there until I say so. Han Solo, we want our money back now. You think hunting Wrath Tars is cheap? Kanja Club wants that investment back too. That BB unit, the First Order is looking for one just like it. And two fugitives. If we close the blast doors in that corridor, we can trap both gangs. I got a bad feeling about this. All right, all right, all right. This level is basically one continuation right after another. To be completely honest, I made a mistake and had to replay this. But the good news of that is I have a really solid playthrough here with no mistakes, no waiting, no nothing. So we're going to start off with Ray and Finn and use Finn's grappler to go ahead and rip open the door. If you do it just right, it's going to puke out a bunch of extra studs for you. And that's always fun because we can collect them for later use. As soon as we get that door open, it toggles us back up top to Han, BB-8, and Chewie. And we're going to get our run on. Now, if you stay to the middle and then to the right, there's actually two rows of studage with both with a bluesy. So hopefully you got both of them. And then we're going to use our scoundrel, old Han Solo, to go ahead and target and take out these control panels on the far right wall. This is going to drop it like it's hot. It's going to drop a box for our peeps down below. We're going to go ahead and toggle them by pressing and holding the icon indicated. For us, it was triangle. Now we're going to make our way into this next room here where we got to pull this power source and slap it onto the rest of it. So sort of a checkerboard path here, but not quite. We're going to push it in and press the button as well. Once that happens, it's going to send some power up to the top and actually it sends it to the conveyor belt just to the right there and we're gonna go ahead and grab this box and slap it on that conveyor belt and then send it up top so i was one step ahead of myself here all right all right all right it's gonna go ahead and lift it up it looks like a giant engine for like a i don't know a big dump truck or something it drops it right where we need it to be we're gonna toggle over to our upstairs foes or i guess friends not they're not foes we'll go ahead and push the button and see what happens uh, spoiler alert, a big gun comes out and takes out this uh, Rathar. Now, there are a couple of challenges. One is called the high ground. Find a route with the, to the vantage point. We're going to bypass that in a second, but I'll show you where it is in case you wanted to grab it. There is a, another one called Rathar Ruse. Defeat the blocking Rathar instead of bypassing it. I kind of felt like that is what we just did, but I did not complete the challenge, so I'll have to confer with Tyler about that. Now, you might have noticed in that little scene there, there was a BB-8 terminal. That is how you can get to the high ground and get that challenge. We're going to skip that for now and just go right on into the room uh, of conflict where we got to use our scoundrel one more time to line up the generator stuffs and it actually <laughs> it takes out quite a few of the guys in the room and stuns the old gun as well in fact it goes a little bit on the fritz and takes out the control panel i do believe blocking our pathway in so we're gonna have to toggle oh no it opens the door psych i lied now it shows that we have another scoundrel point and there is one up top on that box and you'll see me try to get it like three or four times 
For some reason, it was a bit of a funny angle, and I was not able to secure that. Not a big deal, though. Again, just more studs. And uh, actually, it frees up a little bit of a route upstairs, but we don't need that right now. We might in free play, but we'll be back on that for another day. Now, down below in a hot second, we will have the ability to build up this what looks like a gun turret controller, kind of a seat that drops down. And that actually controls this turret right here. That's another one of the challenges, the final one. Turret takeover. Take over the turret from below. But we're going to go ahead and use it right now and take out that ghoul generator in the corner, which is preventing us from getting through that door. And now we have access. But wait, we cannot use that BB-8 terminal so we got to toggle back downstairs and there should be an elevator over in the corner there yes 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 and we should hit that button and it's going to take us right on upstairs where we should be able to jump up oh actually this isn't it yet we got to run down the hallway and we got to chase the wrath tars so we're going to do this again in a minute but finn is going to be in trouble you guys probably remember that from the movie here you can see uh the guy that we're chasing gets gobbled up and we're going to do a wall run to get right on by him and as we continue down, it actually drops the floor right from below us, and we fall down the floor. And there's a bunch of, I think those are Minox, aren't they? Whatever they are, we're going to go ahead and take a few of them out. Cha, 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 cha. And make our way to the end of the hallway where the old waypoint marker is. Now, it actually indicates that we have other animals here. Are these, are they, these aren't wampas, are they? Wampa rats? Is that right? Help me out, guys. Drop a comment down below and let me know what these giant rats are. Or, or, or are they R-O-U-S-S's? rodents of unusual size some of you guys might get that all right here's that seat that i was talking about if you want to get that extra challenge go ahead and hop in that seat and take control of the turret from down below we are going to save that for the free play as we already mentioned though in this next room we're going to go ahead and grab the power cell slap it into place hit the button and woo -hoo 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 -hoo, it opens up the bb8 terminal up above us we'll go ahead and toggle back to our other heroes that's right not foes heroes and upstairs we goes. Now, it <laughs> takes me a second to play a game of uh, which way do I go? Which way do I go? But then we're going to go ahead and step up to the old BB-8 panel here and solve it from the inside out. Yes, sir. All right. We got that done did. It's going to go ahead and open the door. And inside, we've got another small little puzzle here. You can see Buddy's up there, and that's how we're going to advance into the next room. But how do we get up there? We're actually going to go ahead and switch to a human. And, or I guess a, a Wookiee, I guess I, that was the wrong term to use. <laughs> Somebody that can push this push switch. And we're going to spin it all the way around. It's going to drop out that vehicle on the right, but we want one full cycle so that it opens up the same door on the high right there again. Now we can go ahead and detach from the push switch and grab this giant, I guess it's a forklift? So we're going to pull it into place. And once we knock it in there, we got to hit a button and it's going to spin around and put out the old forks lift up a box and now we can push it back into place and it's going to lift up the box and even give us a ladder to get up there there you see it right there all right attached to it again by hitting the icon indicated push it all the way down the old checkerboard path that's what i'm calling it deal with it all right we'll go ahead and jump up and over we go into the new room now remember earlier i mentioned that there's a purple stud that i'm going to show you where it is Due to my failed run uh, the first time, I actually uh, destroyed all the boxes, hopped over the back, and found myself a purple stud right here inside this box. Make sure you swoop it up, as that's going to take us over the top and give us that silver stud status and that blue kyber brick. I guess I should just call it kyber brick. The blue kind of gets confusing as the next tier is blue, right? Ah, you guys are smart. You know what I'm saying. I think... <laughs> All the way at the end of the hallway, we've got ourselves a button. Go ahead and slap it down. And inside, we've got, I believe, another one of those Wampa Rats. And uh, a couple of baddies. We'll take those out as it does this nice cinematic spin throughout the room, showing us the, the Falcon, as well as two buttons that need to be pressed. So we're going to press both of them. We're going to start with the right one. But first, we're going to take out a couple of baddies. And then we're going to solve a puzzle that I think is supposed to be for a little bit down the road. But we're going to do it now because it's just going to make things a little more streamlined. So switch right over to BB-8 and make your way around to this corner panel here and solve this bad boy from the inside out. Go ahead and match it up. That's right. This is kind of a little closer to the old connect the dots than, you know what I mean? You got to connect. Uh... All right. So once that's officially up, it's going to send uh, that up. It's basically like a cycle, sort of like an elevator that goes up and down. Uh, we're going to toggle to Ray, though, pull out the old net launcher and give ourselves a nice little climbing space. Once we get up top, we'll hop up onto the switch. 
I don't know if you need to toggle to the other character and pull them both down at the same time, or if you just need to pull them both down, period. But I'm going to go ahead and use both characters just to be safe. And oh no, there goes Finn. He gets grappled by the old Rathar, and off we are. We're going to go down the hallway, bust a right, another right, and then I think this is when he gets stuck at the end here. We're going to smash the box on the left side, and it's going to give us a power cell. Swoop that up, drop it in the socket on the right, and of course press the button, and y'all know what happens here. The door goes shutting down, snaps the arm off, and if you're patient, it actually closes our door. And wait for it, wait for it. Opens the door. All right, so we're officially out of here. Following all the way down to the GPS waypoint marker, and this should take us actually into the same room as the Falcon is. Go ahead and hit the old button at the end of the hallway, and woo to the who! And because we already activated this elevator, we're just going to go ahead and hop right up on it. Going up. Ding! Do -do 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 -do. Do -do -do -do. little elevator music for you. Got, gotta love that. All right, hop over to the other box and ride it over to the first switch. We're gonna go ahead and hop off, slap it like it's hot. That's right. And then we're gonna drop down onto the old Falcon. And then there's actually a spot that we need to use some handhelds and climb up. And then we can uh, sort of yeet our way across the top all the way over and push that final button. And that's actually gonna be it for the level. Now, I'm a little bit worried, you guys. I've had a couple of reports of people playing on PlayStation that have had a game-breaking glitch where, like, the game doesn't load the next mission. And it happens to be when we meet up with Maz Tanak... When we meet up with Maz. <laughs> All right. Hopefully that doesn't happen to us. We push the button, and away we go. What's that thrust? We're going out of here at light speed. Hang on back there! Inform the First Order that Han Solo has the droid they want. And it's aboard the Millennium Falcon. If Skywalker returns... The new Jedi will rise. By the grace of your training, I will not be seduced. The weapon, it is ready. We shall destroy the government that supports the resistance. The Republic. Go, all the sea preparation. <laughs> <laughs> Fugitives, mm. huh? This droid has to get to the Resistance base as soon as possible. He's carrying a map to Luke Skywalker. Huh? Ooh. Mm. Oh. You want my help? You're getting it. Mm. Gonna see an old friend. She'll get your droid. All right, based on the story, I do feel like that Maz situation is coming up, but there could be some in-between bits that I might have missed. But guess what? Reap what you solo. C -c -c complete free play on... Lock, 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 lock. That's right, we got a Kyber Brick for that, and look at that, we got a Kyber Brick for that Silver Stud status, as promised at the beginning of this video. And look at that, no challenges. However, we do talk about two of them. We could have completed them, but we opted to not to. Same with the mini kits. There was a mini kit up in that upper left region when we had to use the forklift. We opted to not to. There's a couple other ones that we saw, and actually we didn't mention. That's probably our bad, but we'll be back in free play. And if you're in a hurry, please, oh, please, oh, please, check out happythumbsgaming.com because Tyler P., our guide writer, has done an amazing job, and the guide is pretty much done. There's going to be some additional stuff added, some links to some videos and stuff as I get them completed, but the majority of the guide is completed, so go check it out. As for me, guys, that's going to go ahead and do it, though. As always, until next time. Sloop!